morning everyone. So about a week ago, I told you about the first of the amber behaviors, monitoring, and that was checking to see that things are happening the way they should. And I told you that I would tell you last week about the second of the amber behaviors, uh, but I haven't. And the reason I haven't is because I try to do it as little as possible. And I like to tell you in the context of a, of a real world story. And I still haven't done this other amber behavior in the last week, but I can't wait to tell you any longer. So I thought I would pick out a really good example from the past, true story, including me, uh, to illustrate the point. So having monitored, checked to make sure that things are happening the way they should, when you find they're not, then it might be time to start directing. And that is the second amber behavior. And directing is instructing, telling someone to do something to make sure it happens the way you think it should. And the example, I mean, I, I prefer to use green improving, which is questioning, coaching somebody through it. But sometimes time constraints mean that it's urgent and it has to get done now. Um, and the example I would use was uh, myself and uh, a friend of mine uh, were chatting about three years ago and they were struggling, I think both personally and professionally, to get stuff done. And the fact that they were struggling actually meant that they were really starting to, to worry and maybe even panic. And so one morning, I saw this was having a, 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 a not great effect on them. And so I took the unav an enviable step to start directing them. And the first thing I did was, as we were walking down next to the river, I said, right, stop, let's sit down. We're gonna be going to work late this morning and we're gonna try and sort this out. So I took out a piece of paper and a pen and asked them to brainstorm all the activities, all the actions that they'd been trying to get done over the last two weeks, of which they'd got none done. And that's what we did, we wrote them down. They tried to go into detail in, in with them. I said, no, don't worry about that. Just let me worry about that. I'll take you through the process and let's work it through. So we had about 14 items on the list. Then we went through and we said, well, what, all the, what are all the things that you simply must do? And I would question them to, to, to understand the urgency around them to make sure they really were must have items. And once we had those, we went through the shoulds and then the coulds and then the won'ts. And it was interesting that there were some won'ts because when you give somebody the space to just write stuff down and almost clear your head, two of the items on that list, they didn't need anymore. And they hadn't realized that up until now. So once we'd done that, we went through the musts and we said, right, in order, which ones would you want to get done first, second, third? through the shoulds, through the coulds, and we ended up with a list of 12 items numbered from one to 12. And I said, right, so now over the next week, I want you to just pick off one of those items per day. Because in a week's time, if you do that, you'll have half that list gone, as opposed to having nothing gone, which is what's been happening over the last two weeks. And indeed, fast forward seven days, and they actually had more than, a lot more than half that list done, because they actually found that making those things look as big as they actually were meant they could get more ticked off in a day than they realized. And when we had a chat about it afterwards, they said, my God, that was so simple. And it was just seeing that wood for the trees. And the thing is, is that sometimes you have to step in, especially if you're a board member, CEO, uh, managing director, someone, someone in authority, you sometimes do need to step in and just give someone instruction. However, when you look at all the amber behavior, monitoring and directing, it should only take, if you are that person in that organization, it should only take you one day a week. One day should be spent monitoring and directing. The rest should be green. Thinking, communicating, improving. There hopefully is very little red, which we'll talk about tomorrow. I have a red jumper and we will talk about the red one tomorrow because it's easy to pick out examples of that. We all do it from time to time but there should be hopefully not too much of it. And then lastly, we'll talk about the brown behavior, which there hopefully should be none of, and I'll have to go and find a brown jumper to match that one. So if you are of that, in that position, CEO, board member, managing director, and you find you are spending more than one day a week checking, having uh, review meetings around projects, um, uh, having one-to-one -one meetings where it's checking and then directing, instructing people. If you find yourself telling people to do stuff rather than questioning them on what they believe should be done, you're spending more than one day a week doing that. Could be indicative of bigger, bigger issues in the pipeline. And if so, come and have a chat. 
So those are the amber behaviours, and tomorrow we'll talk about the single, the only one red behaviour. Have a great day, have a great week.